is gonna set up about 400. Which is a half swing. Yeah, maybe like 430 or so. For this guy. Whoa. I was kidding. Oh my goodness. That is special, folks. That's the best shot of the round so far. That's insane. I mean, so there's not even all that much gap available to him, but the force over, perfect angle control. Through even the very last gap too, just to make it even better. Oh and, my gosh. And judging by the flight, I think it was farther than 400 feet. Mm -hmm. Brad with an awkward stance here. He's, yeah, look at this angle. It's gotten really oh wow flexy shot here wow that looks so good oh! <laughs> did that go in yes brad, it did <laughs> no no way brad can't believe it yeah he's like he looked over to us he's like wait oh, i wow. made it how on earth was he able to baby flex this driver down the Oh, what a, what a capture. Calvin seeing what Paul's done here. He knows he's got to do something big. Oh, that's also high and inside. This is... Oh, blasted. never mind. Destroyer, full destroyer. Oh, four. What the... Oh, my word. He reached the camera crew? Uh, he's in the gap. I mean, I think he's... He's past the 250 stick. Past the 250? Two past the 250 stick. Oh my gosh, he has a... He could jump on it almost. <laughs> 818 feet. This is where the hole gets really... Thomas is getting aggressive. No way. This is going to carry... He's going to fade. Okay. He just needs to get across here. Oh my gosh. Is that as close as I think it is? Yes. 550 feet, I'm told. Thomas Gilbert, from the location that produces 14s and 12s and 11s and 10s, just goes for it, hits the tree. It was going deep, yeah. And bullseyes it for par. Calvin over left of the basket here. Hard to say exactly how far away he is. I'm guessing, yeah, like a hundred feet or so. Wow. What? Wow. No! <laughs> <laughs> what? Circle three, baby. <laughs> I was just hoping he got up and down. Calvin from forever away. They like gained speed. Oh wait, they put in slow-mo and then oh, uh, my it looked like it just gosh. gained speed right there. And just what a cold-blooded oh. killer with Macbeth yeah. struggling. Oh, uh, yeah, and you can see what the left side of this green looks like. It's just jail. You know, those are black bears. Oh, my gosh. Bushes. Can he even get to the pin? Yes. In. Yes! What? Hey, Vista, <laughs> no, you did not. You are a dirty man. Oh, my gosh. That's a top 10 putt of the year nominee right there. Oh, my gosh, because now he's stuck. Oh, my goodness. But there's no laying this up. No. Simon at 35 is a deadly, deadly man. Oh, oh my God. God. Baby. Robert Burridge. From Are deep. Are you kidding me? Look at this. First in wins. How do you catch that? Oh, my God. What a putt. This man is having the day of his life. Needs to clear the wall. He pushes the height perfectly. He's going around the wall. Okay. What a world. That's probably Flash. shot 70, 80 feet. And just to give himself in a hundred. Sure. He's just remarkable I mean, from you back took, there. Yeah. It's like you, you can't write that. Wow. You can't make it up. 80 footer. Oh my 
goodness, this man is made of something different. And just huge shift of the situation from Gossage's perspective. Oh my goodness. I remember the USDPC last year, he did the same thing on hole 17. Paul Macbeth with a shot to land on the island, possibly win his sixth world title. Still matters how close he can put this. Can he get it on? But that drop zone putt for Aaron, it's, it's makeable for sure. course the wind kicks up. This is certainly it's too good. Is it all the way to the back? Yes. yes. That's a it's not over. Aaron has to make it. It's not over. But that absolutely puts him back in the conversation. It's what is it, an 80 footer? You gotta think Paul thinks he's gonna make it. It's the mindset you have to have. Aaron. Good. Oh, it's in. Oh! oh. That was oh, perfect height. Inches right. I mean, are you kidding me with the playoff on hole 16 again? Yeah. With him going second again. I would never put my hand back on the disc in my free run up again if I was him. Six time oh, wow. world champion. And the first player ever to overcome a three-stroke deficit going into the final round of the World Championships. Ladies and gentlemen, your six-time world champion here at the 2022 PDGA Professional Disc Golf World Championships, Paul McBeth. And joining me now is our 2022 PDGA World Champion and six-time world champion, Paul McBeth. Paul, it's the most emotional I've ever seen you for a winning putt. Tell us what this means. It means a lot, man. I was in Aaron's shoes last year, and, uh, man, I feel for him because it's, it's, it's tough. It's tough, but I know he'll bounce back, and I don't know. I seem to find a way to make big putts on 17, mess it up on 18, and Number go to a playoff. Oh, no. Earlier this year, you hadn't won anything big. You hadn't taken it down. You came up short at the major. You came up short at European Open. What does this mean to come back and fight the way you did? I mean, I still struggled, you know. I still was not that good from the putting green, but I just found a way to, to push through and just continue to, to somehow get them to go in and, and put myself in this position. So, I don't know, like you said, you know, I'm pretty emotional right now. How do you dig deep to clutch up in the way that you did on hole 17, a, a putt you just referenced? You had the very errant mistake on 15, which was surprising, but then two holes later on 17, you make it from outside of circle two. Where were you digging deep for that? I just told myself, you've got to will this one in there. Whatever you have, just will it in there. Give it everything you have. I was able to drop that one on 17. It gave me kind of a cushion on 18, but I should have you know, put that one a little bit closer. So often we hear you talk about how you want to chase down Kenny, how you want the most majors, you want to be the greatest of all time without question. What does it mean to get one step closer with one more world title? I mean, it, it's it's awesome, you know, but I just wish he was more present. You know, that's you see a lot of those, see a lot of those greatest of all time and they're present. So Cheers. I want Kenny to be more present. What does this say about your overall legacy as a player? I mean, this is my 15th year doing this professionally, so. I feel like it's still growing. I want to continue doing it and continue showing up at these majors and showing up at the big events. So I don't know, I just want to keep building. You put on a show this week. Please tell the world, give any thanks or accolades you need to send out there. Just, I mean, thank you all for watching. Thank you to my family back home in California. I know they're watching. I gave him a heart attack. I feel bad for my grandfather. He's 91, so he was there watching. So thank you and thanks to my family in Virginia. My wife's here. My friends are here. My sponsors are here. Thank you all. Took four years, but you are now again world champion. Paul McBath, your 2022 PDGA world champion.
Kings got his crown back. Incredible. I just can't believe how many things went back and forth there on those last four. We knew that those last four were going to be pivotal. 